Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when visiting Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island of Hawaii. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is a beautiful park with so much to offer from stunning ocean views to hiking down into volcanic craters. The biggest highlight of this park is looking down into Kilauea itself. If you're lucky enough to visit when Kilauea is erupting, it is an absolute awe-inspiring sight. We loved our visit to this park and cannot wait to go back. We feel there are just a few things you should know before heading out to this incredible park. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. If you stick around until the end of the video, we'll discuss our favorite things from our own trip to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Let's get started. Know before you go. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is open 24 hours a day, which allows for optimal nighttime volcano viewing and stargazing. The entrance fee to the park is $30 per vehicle. As always, if you visit national parks regularly throughout the year, we recommend purchasing an America the Beautiful annual pass. Make sure you stop off at the visitor center when you enter the park and ask the rangers where the best views of the lava flows are that day. Also, ask them about any closures in the park. The Nene is the Hawaiian goose, and they are heavily protected in Hawaii. Do not feed these birds and keep an eye out for them when driving through the park. Reading up on Hawaiian culture and history will only enhance your enjoyment of this park. We loved learning about Pele, the Hawaiian volcano deity, and the creator of Hawaii's volcanic landscapes. Pele has made her home in Kilauea on the Big Island, and she's responsible for the volcanic activity. Things to do. Kilauea Crater. This should probably be your first stop when entering Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. There are several viewing points along Crater Rim Drive where you can stop off and view down into the crater. If Kilauea is active when you visit, we recommend returning after dark and viewing the crater from the Devastation Trail. Seeing the lava glow at night cannot be missed on your trip. Thurston Lava Tube. 500 years ago, lava poured through this now empty cave tunnel. This one mile round trip hike will take you through the rainforest and the lava tube itself. It's incredible that the lava once flowed steadily in this place could reach temperatures of 2000 degrees. The lava tube is lit up from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Volcano House. The Volcano House is the lodge located inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. They have a restaurant and lounge that looks out into the Kilauea Crater. And from the back patio, you can get amazing views. It's worth a quick stop to see the sights, grab some lunch, and swing by the gift shop. Steam vents and sulfur banks. You'll feel like you're walking through Yellowstone National Park instead of Hawaii volcanoes when visiting the sulfur banks. You can walk along boardwalks and take in the steamy, sulfury smells of the bubbling volcano underneath. Kilauea Iki Crater. Hiking in and around the Kilauea Iki Crater is a great way to view down into and experience Kilauea. We walked along the crater rim trails and got a fantastic view of the crater floor below. You can also hike down into the crater and enjoy the hardened surface that was once an active lava lake. We didn't hike down on this trip, but we definitely would next time. Chain of Craters Drive. Chain of Craters Drive is one of the most beautiful drives we took on our trip to Hawaii. You drive past several lava flows that have made their way down from Kilauea to the ocean. You can stop off at various viewing spots along the 19 mile drive and take in incredible views of the ocean. You can also stop off at the Pu'uloa petroglyphs and wind your way to the Hole Sea Arch at the end of the road. Hole Sea Arch. The Hole Sea Arch is a natural arch that was created from an ancient lava flow meeting the ocean. The landscape along the ocean is very delicate here, and someday the crashing waves of the Pacific will erode away this beautiful formation. Stargazing. Volcanoes National Park is an absolutely incredible place to stargaze. I don't think we've seen as many stars in our life before seeing them in this park. Stargazing above an active volcano is an experience we will never forget. On the night we visited, you could see Venus and Jupiter as well as countless constellations. Where to stay? The Volcano House is the lodge located within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. They have 33 rooms, a restaurant and lounge, and incredible caldera views of Kilauea below. This is a popular place to stay, so booking in advance is important. There are two drive-in campgrounds located in Volcanoes National Park. Namakani Payo has bathrooms and water and cabins available for rental as well. Kula Nao Kua Iki is a smaller campground that has no water on site. 
Right outside the park, the village of Volcano has both hotels and ample rental options. Hilo is located about 45 minutes away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and has several hotel options. If you're staying on the Kona side of the island, it would take you about two hours to get into the park. In the description below, we'll put a link to our video discussing where to stay on the big island. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our own trip to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. So what would you do if you went back to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park? Well, for me, it's bring a larger viewing scope because we were lucky enough to be there while Kilauea was erupting. And I didn't know this until I went, but on this earth, I want to see as many volcanoes erupting safely as possible because it is unlike anything else you've ever seen. We were lucky enough that some other people let us use their scope to look down into the caldera and to just see the, the lava spewing out of it was absolutely unreal. And I could have stayed there for hours watching that volcano erupt. Yes, looking down into the volcano and seeing the lava flowing was an absolutely incredible experience. And if, if and when we go back, I'd actually really like to hike down into the crater. There's areas in which you can do that. And we can see people from up above on the crater rim trail. We could see people down below hiking. And we really didn't do that much hiking in this park. And if we go back, that is definitely something I want to add to the list because I'm a little sad we missed out on that. If you want to see more from our adventures into Hawaii, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.